first speaker of the session is uh, Professor Peter Reves, who joins us from the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and uh, he is an expert in computational linguistics, and also being well known uh, for using AI techniques in deciphering and uh, scripts, with a specialization in technology uh, and scripts. So, Professor. Thank you for the introduction. So today's presentation is about science applied to discover ancient Minoan Indus Valley trade routes implied by common weight measures. A question that I try to answer is what connections can be found among ancient civilizations. These include the Minoan civilization in Crete, and then the ones in Egypt, Mesopotamia, the Harappan and Indus Valley civilization, and China. And here is a picture of the Festus Palace in Minoan times, from Minoan times in Crete. And here is a picture of uh, Harappan civilization in the Indus Valley. Some people already noted that there are many similarities in the architecture of these two cultures. In addition, one can find that bull leaping, jumping over bull like this is another connection because we have seen it in Crete. This is a famous fresco from the palace of Knossos in uh, Crete and we also find it in seals from the Indus Valley civilization. And today I will show you how can be inferred using weight units. Here are a few examples of weight units uh, that were, were used in the ancient world. And all of these have different weights. Some authors, Yalongo and others, have measured all of these uh, that they could find in various museums and they found thousands of these and their analysis was given recently in a paper in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, USA. That uh, these were used uh, is also shown by uh, findings of scales like this one on Akrotiri from Minoan times. It's a bronze scale. According to the theory of Yalongo and others, the weight units spread from You see the dark gray areas that is supposed to be the origin of weights. And from there it spread to the east, to the Indus Valley civilization, as well as to the west, to Crete and then the rest of Europe. That was the theory that they gave in their paper. And this process started from 3100 BC and uh, continued through the Bronze Age, reaching the two ends here, the red ends in around 2300 BC. This is the theory. Now I have taken the same set of data. As you can see, there are many uh, places uh, of associated with the Minoan culture, Akrotiri and so on, Knossos and, and Festus I mentioned also are there. And uh, we have uh, 
started mapping this data as shown here. The mineral sites are indicated by blue, the Mesopotamia by green, and the Indus Valley civilization sites by pink. And then we have identified those which are associated with Mesopotamia. Those green ones uh, in each column, there's perfect match of weights. In the first column, there's 3.6 gram, and in the last column to the right, 470 grams. So in each column, there's a perfect match. Now, when there is a green weight, it can indeed be assumed that those weights come from Mesopotamia. But we have also found several weights of exact matches which only occur among or between uh, Minoan sites and Indus Valley sites. For example, 15, 28.6 grams, 35.8 grams, and 54.5 grams, these have perfect matches between these two cultures, and nothing equivalent anywhere in Mesopotamia. So this gave the idea that there has to be a trade relationship between these two cultures, the Minoans and the Indus Valley. Traders took with them the weights. They could have exchanged the weights. The weights could have been copied from one another. So it could have spread directly. So when we have four exact matches, it strongly suggests a direct route. Okay? So this is, uh, this is what uh, we believe happened. Now, when we look at the map, we can see uh, on this map some ancient trade routes. And these are indicated in red, as you can see. And in uh, Afghanistan, Shortugai is an archaeological site. It's uh, part of the Indus Valley civilization. So it was a trading center an outpost of the Indus Valley civilization, even though it's not on the Indus Valley. And from there, as you can see, following uh, the river, the rivers could be um, used also for transportation, or, and then the following the red uh, route to uh, the Caspian Sea and all the way to Trapezus on the Black Sea southern shore is a land route. Once we are at Trapezus, that's a city on the Black Sea, uh, shipping is possible. So let's, let's uh, illustrate this this way. So the land route is possible from Shortugai to Trapezus. There, goods can be put on a ship, and with the ship can be carried to uh, the Asian Sea through the Bosporus Strait to Crete. So this is a possible trading route which avoids uh, the Mesopotamian centers that were supposed to be the intermediate uh, traders between the two civilizations. Now, when we look for some additional support of this theory, uh, we can look for additional weights. The uh, paper um, omitted some uh, additional data that we found from an old paper in Hungarian, actually. 
It was published, interestingly, it was published in 1880, and it described some gold treasure found at Marmaros. The country was, uh, county was uh, named Marmaros in 1880 in Hungarian. Today it's called Maramures in Romanian. So at this site, I indicate the weights in yellow. And these yellow weights, as you can see, uh, include at least one, so many of them still have green uh, equivalents, but one of them, 12.6, has only connection with the Minoan civilization. So that means uh, that there would be a, a trade, a direct trade, again, is suggested. It's less strong evidence because it's one matching weight instead of four, I know. But the data is more sparse. But still, it suggests uh, the direct relationship between Maramures or Marmaros and the Minoan civilization. Here's a Venn diagram of all the weights that are common. As we can see, some weights are very widespread. So 39.4 is a weight which is very standard because it occurs in all three places. As well as indicated here, as well it's green, so at, including Mesopotamia. These four weights are shared with the Aegean and the Indus Valley. The 12.6, as I said, between those two, and 54 between those two. And if you think about the way of trade to Maramures or Marmaros, it's also possible to be done mostly through the Black Sea. But instead of going down south through the Bosporus Strait, you go up north a little bit to the Danube Delta, and with the Danube, can, you can go quite far to that continent. So this is, uh, again, an additional support for the triangular trade. As well as civilization, the Minoan civilization and the ancient Bronze Age civilization here in this area, which is the Danube Basin. Okay, the Danube may be a river which was used for trade. So these are the main conclusions of this paper. Okay, thank you very much for listening.